Nation's response can never ever be to even for a moment to sit and wallow. On the individual level, it's not only important, it's not only needed, it's a mitzvah. To sit there and mourn, and you don't go to pray, you don't sing, you don't go to concerts. It's important you sit there and you go through the motions because you are a human being and you lost somebody close to you, and that's important. But as a nation, as an army, as a unit, as a family, as a community, as the lev together, the response after somebody was killed, the government said we're building two new roads, and we're gonna have two new roads that are connected through some to this place to show the Arab, not the Arabs, excuse me, to show the, Arab, the terrorists among the Arab population, which happens to be a majority, that you can't stop our uh, 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 actions, you can't stop our existence. We're gonna add two new roads. And the next day afterwards, obviously to comfort the family, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of those lined up with flags, not only Israeli flags, but posters of support of I'm gonna take on a new good deed for this person. I'm gonna continue his light forward. That is our response as a nation. And so I think it's quite the opposite. This Simchat Torah has to be the happiest Simchat Torah in our nation's history, because that's the way Hashem wants us to go forward as a nation. That is our call, that is the nation's response to tragedy. It's to go forward, just like I remember, and I'll, with this I'll close, a, a, a few years back when there was that shooting in a Poway synagogue, and the Chabad Rabbi actually lost his finger. And his response afterwards was, I think it was around Hanukkah time or Pesach, the amount of piluyot, the amount of, of, of activities and, and events and curriculum that world worldwide Chabad synagogues did was unbelievable that year. I remember our synagogue in Potomac, I was home then, I don't know what, why I was home, I guess before the army time. But uh, I remember we did a Hanukkah candle lighting and the Pesach Seder was huge. That is our response as a nation. That you try to put us down, we will replenish ourselves, we will strengthen ourselves twofold. And I really hope that the nation takes that message to come into the Simchat Torah. I know I myself, whether I'll be in Gaza or Lebanon or a training base or on uniform or out of uniform, mm -hmm. I will be dancing the hardest I ever have uh, this Simchat Torah. If we have a sad and gloomy Simchat Torah, it's letting them win at that battlefield. And uh, I think it's very interesting that one of the ways that I, I like how um, people explain what trauma is, is where it's, you have some sort of experience and then you become fixed on only one interpretation to what the situation was or what something involved in the situation was. Let's say someone was uh, experienced a car crash. So their immediate um, uh, like connotation or uh, was like, uh, interpretation. Yeah, interpretation of like anything really related to driving to, to a car is like, Fear, I'm gonna crash again, I'm gonna kill someone. It's, it's all around that. They, there's no other option. They can't see the situation as I'll drive my kids to school, I will go for a trip, I'll be okay, everything will be great. There isn't any uh, way to understand it like um, other than it will be bad, you know, someone will die. Mm. And if we had a trauma in Sibkatawa, and we did, and we understood Sibkatawa as something very traumatizing, very painful so much loss and then we go ahead to our, the next Sukkotwa this upcoming year and we stay in that headspace we're just sinking into trauma and we're not treating ourselves. Um, giving Simchatola a new interpretation and understanding that what happened doesn't affect what will be in a bad way necessarily. We can grow from it, we can change it, that's healing. So I think that that's, that's our mission as a nation.